All right, what's up, everybody? My name is Aaron. I'm the Brick Scavenger, and this is Celebration Day. We got another monetization check from YouTube. We're going to go spend it at the Lego store today. I'm so excited. Let's take a look at how much we earned last month, and then we'll talk about what we're going to get today. Let's take a look at the data. Now, this is skewed a little bit because it doesn't actually reflect exactly what happened for the check that I earned, but uh, let's take a look. This is the data over the last 28 days. You can see that we've had just over 30,000 views on our channel. We're an incredibly small channel, and I know that. This, is, this video is not meant to be braggy. It is totally meant as a thank you to you guys and show you what you have helped me accomplish on this YouTube channel. Uh, the watch hours are somewhere in the neighborhood of 3,500. Uh, looks like we're averaging, I don't know, maybe 100 a day, something like that. Data's kind of up and down. We have gained 161 subscribers over the last 28 days, making our total sitting right now 2,770 subscribers. I honestly don't remember where we were last month, but, you know, probably about 150 less than that, 160 less than that, something like that. Um, this estimated revenue is what they're sort of anticipating my next check will be. That's not what this current check is. So taking a look at uh, what we actually got from YouTube last month, you can see our last payment right here at $131.28. Very excited about that. It's some free Lego money to spend. If you saw my last video, you know this money does not go towards paying the rent or the electric bill. This is just have fun at the Lego store money. So we're going to go spend $131 today. Uh, honestly, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to get. I'm going to take my daughter to the Lego store. We're going to check it out. I think there's a gift with purchase today that is somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, $85 threshold. It's some fireworks. So obviously we're going to try to snag that. And I'll probably spend this on something that's retiring by year's end. There's a handful of things that I want to get that uh, are retiring in the near future. We can talk about those. Maybe I'll film at the Lego store a little bit. Um, but let's make the drive over there, see what we can find. All right, back from the Lego store. I obviously did not film in the Lego store. I don't know. There's something about filming in public that just makes me feel weird. I don't like doing it. Plus, my Lego store plays really loud music, and I'm totally afraid of copyright strikes with YouTube. So uh, we didn't do that. But... I'll be honest with you, we cheated. <laughs> we cheated a little bit, $131 just didn't get the job done today. Let's take a look at what we got. Sitting at the Lego desk and then I realized that I was in the middle of posting some Star Wars helmets to Bricklink when we went to the store. So uh, we did not get these at the Lego store, but now they're in the way. Anyway, uh, we crossed, crossed over two thresholds today. The more expensive threshold I didn't even realize was happening. The tribute to Jules Verne. 351 pieces set 40690. That's fun right there. The book. So we will uh, have that one for our collection at some point. And this thing's really cute. Uh, the fireworks. What is it? Fireworks celebrations. 40689. 184 pieces. I'm pretty sure that the center of that thing is the uh, Elsa kind of snowflake, and then they build off of the little arms of the snowflake. So that's a fun set as well. Uh, we don't actually visit the Lego store that often, but when I do, I absolutely cannot say no to uh, at least looking at the, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand. Uh, we absolutely cannot say no to checking out the pick-a-brick wall. And there's two things on the pick-a-brick wall, pick -brick wall that I absolutely cannot say no to. Uh, one of these is specifically for, actually two of these, specifically for Lagona, uh, which I need all the time. And then the other one I think is going to be good for Islanders. So we got three pick-a-brick boxes. First, we got a bunch of these one-by-two log bricks. These are, um, I think, really good for kind of rock structures. If you have not seen, there is the uh, progress on the Islanders display, but I think we're going to need a lot of rocks in there. And so I think, you know, those will those will be a nice touch for that. And then they had 
tiles. Two by two tiles. Marbles have to roll on smooth surfaces. So we ended up smashing two full boxes. I don't know how well the color comes through. This is dark tan. Uh, I can literally never have enough tile to make smooth surfaces for marbles to roll on. So two boxes of that will go a long way to uh, being able to create marble track. None of that is what pushed us way over the threshold uh, to you know spend our YouTube money. I didn't end up going after anything that's retiring. I just couldn't figure out a way to pull the trigger. Some of the stuff I want to wait to see if it goes on sale or clearance or whatever. But there's been one item that I've had my hand, uh, my eyes on for a while. And I just couldn't resist. It's heavy. Here it is. Yeah, the medieval town square. My someday castle display continues to someday grow look at the size of this thing holy cow here it is right here does it not have the piece count on it am i totally wacko where's the oh here down here set one zero three three two three thousand three hundred pieces this is an absolute beauty right here i probably when it's all said and done will end up with two of these i'm also planning on getting two of the bricklink designer seaside castle i don't remember what it's called exactly uh, i think the max you can order there on is two orders haven't opened yet but i imagine that that's going to look really good my someday castle display is going to be so epic i am very excited about the purchases for today all right guys so before we go just a couple of things real quick first of all thank you so much for being a part of my youtube channel it really means the world to me that you're choosing to spend part of your day listening to me talk about lego uh, if this is your first video on the Brick Scavenger channel, we really do three things on this channel. We have been working on our own mock display. In this case, it's Islanders versus Ewoks, which has been a ton of fun. We do marble racing, which I'm going to bring back full force here. Probably at the end of the summer, I need the kids to go back to school for that. And then we do lots of mail time videos where we open up various hauls that we've gotten, treasure hunting, and that's kind of how we fund the whole project. So before we go today, I just wanted to show you guys roughly what we do in case this is your first video. Because if you're on the fence like, hey, I don't know if I want to be a part of this. I don't know if I want to subscribe. Let's go check out what we do. Maybe that'll help you decide. One of the things that we're working on is a really fun big display that is going to be an Endor mock. The Ewoks village has been kind of turned into this giant forest. And they are going to actually have a beach where there will be a big ocean way. And on the other side of the ocean is going to be our Islanders display. Now the Islanders display is nowhere near as complete as the Ewoks village is. Not that the Ewok village is complete, but the uh, Islanders are still coming. So I do my best to kind of post videos about the progress of this. But what you're gonna have to do is imagine that the Ewok village actually is right here facing this way then there's going to be a table in the middle that's effectively just a huge ocean and then the islanders will be on the opposite side so the islanders living in their territory ewoks living in their territory and in the middle they're separated by an ocean where they're going to be battling back and forth so if you're interested in seeing that feel free to check out those videos over here, if you haven't seen it yet, Lagona 500. It is a marble racing track made entirely out of Lego. In this case, we're going on to season two, which is going to have a dreams theme to it. The track is mostly ready to go. I just need some like long periods of time without kids to be able to film races and do the video editing and all that kind of stuff. But this track is super fun. If you wanna check out the castle version, that was season one, feel free to go back and check that out. It's the Lagona 500, very similar to Daytona 500, but obviously Lego. Uh, it is super fun. I think you would enjoy it a lot. So there is that kind of quick preview, but many more videos to come in the near future on that. 
And then the third thing that we do is mail time. I will order various used minifigure hauls, collections that people no longer want. The minifigures that I find that I really want, I end up putting on a wall like this. The ones that I already have or the ones that I don't want, I end up selling off and that kind of helps fund the project. So it's a never ending process, updating this wall, trying to figure out which ones I have, which ones I don't. Nothing you see here uh, is Star Wars because Star Wars is way over there. There's a ton of them, including you can't really see around the corner. There's a couple hundred Ewoks in the, uh, on the shelves over there getting ready to populate the Ewok village once that is done. And then I have a completely destroyed display of CMFs. Uh, I have the vast majority of the CMFs. I, I don't know if I have them all. I haven't checked. But obviously you can see that it's completely destroyed. And that is because the crowd in our Lagona 500 is CMFs. So they have a front row seat for the finish line. They are anxiously awaiting the next running of the Lagona 500. So all that being said, guys, if you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. It'll help our channel grow. Thank you guys again so much for being a part of this whole thing. I really appreciate you. We'll be on BrickLink. We'll be on eBay. We'll be on WhatNot. Come say hi. I'd love to hear about what projects, Lego-wise, you guys have going on. We'll see you next time.